28. Death visits Family Guy. I'm Stewie, big fan. All new Fox Tuesday. National Enquirer TV with James Hill, Susan Campos, and Mike Walker. What happened when Britney Spears' mom caught her a little too in sync with Justin Timberlake? And why Whitney Houston should never go out alone. Then, the tragedy that haunts Freddie Prinze Jr. Plus, rapper Foxy Brown may end up rhyming in jail. Now, the stories the world can't stop talking about, it's National Enquirer TV. Hello and welcome to National Enquirer TV. I'm Susan Campos. And I'm James Hill. Well, there's a case of life imitating art. Singer Whitney Houston has become the object of a deranged fan's obsession. National Enquirer TV's Sabila Vargas has that story. In The Bodyguard, Whitney Houston plays a famous singer who was stalked by a psycho. But this superstar's real life is even more terrifying than the movie. For nearly a year now, Whitney's been the target of a scheming stalker identified in court documents as Desiree Weeks of New York City. This young woman believes that Whitney Houston is the reincarnation of her mother. This is a kind of a supernatural type of uh, belief. Journalist Frank Swartlow says after months of harassment, Grammy winner Whitney finally obtained a restraining order against Weeks. She's sending her all sorts of bizarre presents like four tiered chocolate cake, bra, anyone who is a recipient of this kind of stuff may be flattered at first, but then you have to take it very seriously because it continues over and over again. In fact, this legal complaint filed by Whitney paints a petrifying picture. Weeks makes cockeyed claims in long letters. She calls Whitney mommy and Whitney's daughter little sister. The star's mom, Sissy, is called Nana. Whitney confesses to suffering terrible anxiety because what she says is Weeks' bizarre and disruptive behavior. My heart goes out to these victims because it doesn't matter whether they're a celebrity or an everyday person. They are traumatized. They're fearful. Rhonda Saunders is an L.A. County prosecutor who goes after stalkers. Even she says Whitney's chilling case is especially frightening. You don't know what that stalker will do. Will that stalker hurt other people in the family, for example, to try to take their place? The divine diva was forced to request restraining orders twice before. Once against a man who believed he had two children with her, and once against a white man who insisted he was a brother. With a restraining order, we can take action if that stalker gets within a hundred yards of the victim. And it doesn't matter if that stalker is in a public place or a private place. But Swartlow says until her stalker is behind bars, Whitney's family will never feel completely safe. When you're dealing with someone who looks at life as one and one is blue or purple or yellow, they're not going to read. They don't care what's on a piece of paper. Whitney is going to be somebody who has to look over her shoulder all the time. A psychiatrist consulted by the court describes Weeks as severely disturbed and believes she could pose a danger to Whitney. She may be riding high on the music charts, appearing on the covers of teen magazines, and walking down the red carpet at award shows. But as far as Britney Spears' mom is concerned, she can still be grounded. Top pop star Britney Spears may be telling the old teenage white lie. You know, mom thinks you're with a friend, but you're really with a boyfriend. It seems that the songbird's mom had a meltdown over Britney's hot and steamy relationship with NSYNC heartthrob Justin Timberlake. I understand Lynn Spears is so angry about the possibility of Justin Timberlake, who of course is with NSYNC, and her daughter, Brittany, moving in together, that she is just over the top about it. Entertainment columnist Tanya Hart says the teen idol's mother discovered the shocking truth that her sexy daughter was spending nights in the arms of her young lover. You know, Brittany does come from a religious family, and I think part of the problem with this is that her mother doesn't think it's a really good idea for Brittany to have a guy sleeping over. Uh, no matter who it is, even if it is Justin Timberlake. Lynn Spears was under the impression that Britney was spending her nights with a close friend. Little did she know that her friend would be her daughter's boyfriend, Justin, or that they were getting a little too close for comfort. You know, I think any mother is always going to be a mother, and it's very difficult for a mother to let go of their child. I don't care how old they are. But in Britney's case, Lynn Spears knows all the pitfalls out there. She understands that people are after Britney because of her fame and her money. And I think she's really just trying to protect her from that. So right now, it's a very difficult time in their relationship. It's a hard fact for every parent to accept. Your baby is all grown up. Brittany's 18. According to sources, Brittany and Justin pay $15,000 a month for their love chat. 
Justin and Brittany seem very happy together, but hey, why not? I mean, is he adorable or what? I'd be happy with the guy, you know? And he should be happy with her, so I think they're, they're really cute together. And what about the rumors concerning Prince William and the pop princess? Well, you know, there's some interesting rumors going around about Britney Spears and Prince William. They have been emailing for a long time, and I understand that they had kind of a secret romantic dinner not too long ago. I also understand that Britney is actually thinking about purchasing a $2.5 million estate outside of London. However, in the meantime, she is still very much with Justin, and I think she and Justin are happy, but uh, I think we have to wait and see on this one. Looks like Britney won't be Queen of England, but... Queen of Justin's heart. Although Brittany has denied rumors of a romantic relationship with Britain's Prince William, she has reportedly purchased a seven-bedroom house for $2.25 million in the British village of Carlton King, which is within cooing distance of the future monarch's hometown. Rap star Foxy Brown, the focus of today's legal brief. After crashing her Range Rover into a wooden fence, the hip-hop diva was arrested for driving with a suspended license. Foxy Brown was taken to Long Island College Hospital for treatment of minor injuries and later released. Her 1997 debut CD, Il Nana, went platinum after its release. Now it's time for our special series, Countdown to the Oscars. In less than a week, all eyes will be on the red carpet to see who the winner is when it comes to the very best and very worst in star style. <laughs> From sex pod to Cinderella, when it comes to making a fashion statement, there's no place like Oscar. And with a worldwide audience of 70 million, there's no better time to razzle and dazzle. The Oscars are like the World Series of the evening fashion crowd. It's the biggest night of the year for knockoff King Alan Schwartz, who sits home most award show nights, popping the hits and disses the misses. I always look at a Sigourney Weaver. Nicole Kidman. Um, I watch Sharon Stone. I'm curious to see what she's wearing. The last two or three years, I think Gwyneth Paltrow has been the most consistently good dresser. Gwyneth's glamorous gown became an immediate bestseller for Schwartz, who also copied the fabulous frocks worn by Gina Davis and Kate Blanchett. But not every contender on the red carpet walks out a winner. There are many more misses than there are successes. Sometimes Sharon Stone's a big miss. I've seen Sigourney Weaver look magnificent, and I've seen her look very disappointed. And then there are people like Courtney Love, who sometimes are erratic and sometimes, you know, look terrific. Schwartz copied Courtney's stylish Versace, but has passed on some of her grungier get-ups. He says Oscar is all about elegance. Kim Basinger with a beautiful green gown. I think that was the closest I'd seen someone to look like a Grace Kelly type in maybe 20 years. And she looked great, and we put our spit on it, and it was a fabulous seller for us. Year after year, Schwartz shows off his six cents for fashion finds. And you can bet your bodice he'll be sowing the seeds of success when it comes to Oscar's American Beauty. While many of those glittering gowns go for thousands of dollars, Alan's ABS copies can be had for just a few hundred dollars. Coming up, the trial of the century. Kennedy cousin in Moxley murder nightmare. And Freddie Prinze Jr., Hollywood's hottest young hunk. Coming up on National Enquirer TV. Honey, have you seen my lean pocket? Lean pocket? All that rich, hearty taste and only seven grams of fat. No, dear. No, see your lean pockets anywhere. The surprising taste of lean pocket friends. Honey, this is simple. He cleans, we clean. Better. Better because on tough bathroom stuff, the power of pine salt delivers a knockout. Now, who are you going to trust? Me or Mr. You-Know-Who over there? The power of pine salt, the smell of clean. I will never let this container out of my sight. Uh -huh. I will care for it as if it were my own child. A little overprotective of your Tupperware? Get Gladware. Reusable containers that cost about 50 cents each. So if they lose them, don't get mad. Get Glad. You've got the travel wizard. Caller, what do you see? I've got a long way to go, and I don't want to go broke getting there. I see the number 69 in your future. As in the Greyhound $69 go anywhere fare. Do you feel the mojo? 69 bucks or less. Call now if the spirit moves you. 
On with a poached quail egg and a puree of truffled celery root. Finally, the crayfish. This evening, we're serving it on a bed of shiso leaf, accompanied by a dollop of tobiko and a bouquet of baby asparagus on a pedestal of polenta. The entree is finished with a drizzle of gooseberry coulis. Tempting, isn't it? A million and a half customers, over 12 million packages a day. And DeVry graduate Nancy Hoeing is doing her part. She's responsible for 400 people in 29 countries. In charge of international field service for United Parcel Service. DeVry has helped me to achieve my goal. They taught me that the key to success is integrating technology and people. Reach for the sky. Call 1-800-DeVry-11 for a higher degree of success. Welcome back to National Enquirer TV. It's the latest Kennedy scandal. 40-year-old cousin Michael Skakel has been formally charged with murder in juvenile court. So yet again, America's first family is haunted by tragedy and disgrace. And based on past Kennedy scandals, this one is just starting. This man, Michael Skakel, the nephew of one of the most revered figures in American politics, might also be a killer. Skakel was arraigned last week in a juvenile court and charged with murder. At the time of the killing, Skakel was only 15. The famous families faced each other for the first time in 25 years. After the court appearance, Skakel walked over to Mrs. Moxley and said, Dorothy, I feel your pain, but you've got the wrong guy. Martha Moxley was only 15. Beautiful. A bright future. Instead, her seemingly charmed life ended in murder. For over two decades, the Moxley murder had been shrouded in mystery. A mystery that now might finally be solved. Michael Skakel, Martha's childhood friend who lived across the street during the 70s, turned himself in to Connecticut authorities after a warrant was issued. When I called my client, told him he looks like he may be arrested. Let's come on up here and let's surrender. We meet took an easy step to do that. Months after the murder, the Skakel family refused to cooperate with the police. Author Susan Crimp has written extensively about the Kennedys. At first, it was Michael's brother, Tommy, that was under suspicion. The golf club belonged to the Stakel family. Then their father hired a PI to clear Tommy's name. Unfortunately, the suspicion then turned to brother Michael. The unsolved case caused a sensation. First, a novel by Dominic Dunn, then a TV miniseries. Then Mark Furman, yes, that Mark Furman weighed in with an explosive book that pointed the finger at Michael. With interest renewed in the case, a grand jury investigation resulted in the arrest of the Kennedy clan member. Things don't look very good for Michael Skakel. There's this council of reports that apparently implicates him, this PI report that again apparently implicates him. Whether he's a Kennedy or not, it just goes to prove that you can run, but after all these years, you ultimately can't hide. The Moxley murder trial is bringing Mark Furman back into the public eye. TV networks and 24-hour news stations were all vying to hire him to provide commentary on the trial. ABC ended up the winner. Freddie Prince Jr. is one of Hollywood's hottest young actors. The sexy star has the devotion of his fans and will soon be attracting attention on the cover of Movie Line magazine. But we have the scoop on Freddie before the news hits the sands. Freddie Prince Jr. is following in the footsteps of his famous father, but not his lifestyle. I think that he's really dedicated, and you can tell by his sort of special interest. He's not out partying. He's not a drinker. He's not a smoker. He's not any of that. Freddie Prince, the star of the 70s sitcom Chico and the Man, committed suicide at age 22 during a drug-induced haze. His namesake was only 10 months old. I don't fool with drugs, Freddie told Movie Line. I would have a father if it wasn't for drugs. Bottom line. What he does have is a fabulous acting career that capitalizes on his real life. Like in the movie, Down to You. It was dangerously close to who I am as a person. It was kind of a chance for me to see if I could be myself in a movie, because I've, I've never done that. I've never even come close to playing myself. He's so genuine, and he's like the boy next door, which I think is why a lot of people like him. But I think he's a really good actor. Movie line match. Soon he'll grace their cover. He's hot. He's a new, up-and-coming, really, really rising star. He's young. He's gorgeous. This is crazy. 
He became a teen favorite with I Know What You Did Last Summer and solidified his position with the sequel. Teen fans love him, and he loves being a teen idol. He tells Movie Line, quote, Look what I have because of my fans. They put food in my mouth. They give me love. They're the reason I get paid so well. They believed in me. With hits like She's All That, Freddie has broken into the million dollar per movie club. He may be getting the Hollywood treatment, but Steady Freddie is still a prince of a guy. He's not afraid to sort of be who he is. Like how many how many guys, you know, that are the tap dance pray, you know, read comic books and he could still be a strong leading man. Who's his leading lady in real life? Freddie dated actress Kimberly McCullough for four years, but then ended their term of endearment. I thought they were going to get married, and and when we interviewed him, he, he cried when he when he talked about her. So that was so endearing. For now, his personal life is a mystery. But just wait. This summer, you could be head over heels with Freddie Prince Jr. Head over heels is the name of one of his new movies out this summer. The other is Boys and Girls. Time now for Inquiring Minds. Chad Ritberger of Fargo, North Dakota, emailing us, asking, I just love Julia Roberts. Seeing clips from her new movie, Erin Brockovich, makes me wonder, did she get breast enhancement surgery for this role? Well, now, Chad, Julia didn't have surgery, but she did have a little movie magic help for her hot new flick. Makeup and wardrobe pulled out all the stops to get her up for the part. Wonder bras, push-up bras, taping her breasts together, and makeup shaving were used to help accentuate Robert's cleavage. Julia laughed to a pal that she thought diamonds were a girl's best friend. Now she knows it's makeup. Coming up, in Planet Gossip, Judge Judy versus Judge Jerry. Who's the biggest ham? Stay tuned for these stories and more. If you think all drain cleaners are the same, take a look at this. The problem with Liquid Plumber is that it only cleans here, so clogs keep coming back. That's why we invented Drano Foamer. It expands, filling your entire pipe. And scrubs it clean, getting the gunk Liquid Plumber leaves behind, so drains stay clear longer. Drano Foamer keeps drains clear longer than Liquid Plumber. Essie Johnson. With Palm Olive, bring sensations. Bring it in the air. Everywhere I look around. Botanical blend. So fresh. It's springtime every time you do dishes. Palm Olive, bring sensations. Bring it in the air. Send your phone company a message. Join us at phonefree.com and calling long distance will be totally free. And you know something? So will you. Phonefree.com. Let freedom ring. You didn't care that I was divorced with a bad credit history or that I'm on disability or that nobody else would refinance my home. You saw past all that and helped me out. Paid off three mortgages, five credit cards, and found a little extra for home improvements. So here I am today with good credit again and a nice house. Thank you, Money Store. You believed in me. Sincerely, Barbara Lavi. The Money Store. 1-800-LOAN-YES. 50 is beautiful and to help you stay that way even outdoors in the sun there's Pro Vital Protective Moisture Cream it gives you broad spectrum UV protection while it's nourishing Olay moisturizers hydrate to help strengthen your skin's natural resilience Pro Vital Protective Moisture Cream from Olay one reason women over 50 look so wonderful a lifetime of items. Here, Casey. Here, boy. Here, Casey. Come on, Kate. I'll race you. Every day you feed your dog items, you help its chance for a long, healthy life. The wholesome ingredients in items are easy to digest, so lots of nutrition stays in your dog. Come on, Casey. Good boy. Iams Dog Foods. Good for life. Welcome back to National Enquirer TV. Imagine praying in church when suddenly, instead of pulling out a Bible, the preacher pulls out a rattlesnake. Well, it might be shocking, but it's true. In certain churches, it's part of the service. In a recent episode of The X-Files, Mulder and Scully confront a fictitious church of snake worshippers. 
But believe it or not, these churches actually exist. In Tennessee, these spirit-filled parishioners pick up poisonous snakes of all kinds, from rattlers to copperheads. It's called serpent handling, and some fundamentalists believe that they're just carrying out the word of the Bible, a passage of which states that they should take up serpents and they won't be harmed. This bizarre practice has been around since the 1800s. Both young and old take part in it. Some people have been bitten several times and live, while others haven't been so lucky. Although serpent handling has been outlawed in many communities, they continue to do it anyway. Some even use fire to strengthen their belief. Or drink small quantities of strychnine. It might seem strange for most of us, but for them, it's a rite of passage and a true test of their faith. More than 85 people have died handling snakes in religious services since that practice began. Time now for Mike Walker's Planet Gossip. Today, producers of Will and Grace have gender-bending problems. Mike? Thanks, Susan. And now, all the news you really need to know. Here's a secret peek at an upcoming Will and Grace episode that's sure to infuriate drag queens. Giddy gay boy Jack, played by Sean Hayes, is sexually attracted to a horrors female stripper. But when they strip for action, Jack's stunned to find she equipped as a he. Now here's what's weird. Producers flatly refused to hire a drag queen because they didn't feel any male would be believable as a female. So a girl plays the gender bender stripper, drag queens unite. And reindeer game star Charlize Theron had a hairy time when Woody Allen cast her in his film Celebrity. She just cut her hair and needed a wig fast. She called a wig lady and said, just send whatever you've got laying around really blonde. So what did she get? This is great trivia, she giggled. It was one of Tom Cruise's rejected wigs from Interview with a Vampire. The head was extremely big. We just sewed it smaller. And who's the biggest ham in Judge Judy's family? The verdict then, Judge Judy rules it's her husband, Judge Jerry Scheinlin. Judge Judy says she never watched her own show in the first year it was on because she felt it would make her self-conscious. The second year, she said she watched occasionally. But now that Judge Jerry's on the air, it's a whole different story. He tells his wife, stop fooling around in the kitchen, stop playing with the dog, stop folding laundry, just sit and watch me. Judge Judy says she has to constantly flatter him because, quote, he doesn't accept criticism very well. How does he accept the fact that he's number two in the family TV rating? Judge Judy advises Hubby not to fret about that. She says, quote, I told him that being number two is just fine for him. And now you know it all. Almost. Thanks, Mike. You're always number one with us. Well, you often see stars like Gwyneth Paltrow all dressed up at all the formal events, but what is she wearing underneath her fabulous frock? Would you believe the creations of a California co-ed who found her riches in britches? Three years ago, she was a Pepperdine undergrad. Today, 26-year-old Stephanie Steinman is the toast of the underworld. Her company is called Cherry Pie. And her fruit festoon panties and PJs have made her a favorite with fans like Cameron Diaz, Gwyneth Paltrow, Winona Ryder, Jimmy Moore, Denise Richards, Heather Graham, Tori Spelling, kind of like your dream celebrity wish list. She's come a long way from Cherry Pie's humble beginning. Starting off on a shoestring budget, Stephanie made the rounds with just a few samples. To her amazement, they were snapped up by some of the city's trendiest shops. Her feel-good garments started popping up on shows like Party of Five and movies like Ed TV and Your Friends and Neighbors. And what does Stephanie think of her good fortune? She's almost been too busy to realize it's happened. Yeah, I do look at these, these women that I admire and think they're wearing something that I created from beginning to end. And it's, it's a pretty good feeling when I let myself think of it when I have a free second. Stephanie has also added a line of baby clothing to her cherry pie design. And now it's time for today's National Enquirer TV quiz. Which movie director applied to USC's same film school twice but got rejected both times? Is it Rob Reiner, Steven Spielberg, or George Lucas? Stay tuned for the answer when National Enquirer TV returns. Tomorrow, Katie Couric's inspiring crusade to save lives. And are Andre Agassi and Steffi Graf in a game set and love match? On the next National Enquirer TV. At 
Geico Auto Insurance, we handle your claim quickly, so you don't have to bum a ride to work. Geico, a 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Oh, uh, I didn't want mail. You don't have to sacrifice service to save money. Geico, a 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Now, Croissant Pockets has a tender bakery-style crust that's flakier than ever, which makes the irresistible taste of any stuffed Croissant Pocket even harder to resist. Croissant Pockets, with a bakery-style crust. Introducing a Summer's Eve made just for you. New Summer's Eve lubricating jelly with natural lubricant and pH balance. Summer's Eve, enjoy being a woman. National Enquirer TV will return in a moment. Do you want to play? Give us a call. Call me tonight. Call me now. Call us tonight. We're waiting for your call. Come play with us. It's better than playing alone. It's free and it's fun. It's free. So call 1-800-679-6600. That's 1-800-679-6600. Adults only, please. Let the games begin. Graduates from Northwest Career Training Center make big money with starting salaries as high as thirty to $35,000. We have the experienced trainers to teach you the skills you need for a new career. At Northwest Career Training Center, our grads make big money. Our training course is certified by the Professional Truck Drivers Institute, which means you receive real training. At Northwest Career Training Center, our grads make big money. We have the best contacts for immediate job placement after graduation, so make the change today. The best career start at Northwest Career Training Center, where our grads make big money. That's the age! Oh, oh, hey. Have you tried the chip? The chip, the chip. But these are lays! Bet you can't eat just one. And if I lose, I get an hour of your time. Lays, always fresh. Guys, say hello. Mark! Chip? Who are we? The, the Pawn! <laughs> Bet you can't eat just one. Have you figured out the answer to our National Enquirer TV quiz? Which movie director applied to USC's famed film school twice but got rejected both times? Is it Rob Reiner, Steven Spielberg, or George Lucas? It's Steven Spielberg who ended up at nearby Cal State Long Beach and is now one of the ten richest people in Hollywood. Coming up tomorrow, it's no joke. Don Rickles is sued in Beverly Hills. And Steven Spielberg's decision about his next blockbuster. So then I'm James Hill. And I'm Susan Campos. Thanks for watching. New Aquafresh Flex Tip. The one with an extra yellow tip that helps clean hard to get to places ordinary brushes may miss. Aquafresh Flex Tip adapts for a custom clean. Introducing delicious Jenny Craig Nutritional Meal Bars. All five flavors now available where you shop. If you're looking for a powerful vacuum that weighs only eight pounds, try my Oric XL3 for 15 days. Nothing gets by an Oric. Guess who's coming for dinner? I'm Stewie. Big fan. Death visits an all-new family guy. Which one is Peter Griffin? This is Peter Griffin. Hey, that's a good one. And when Death takes a holiday, his rules no longer apply. Hey, look at that. I beat my Logie. An all-new family guy, 83730 Central, Fox Tuesday. Do you want to play? Give us a call. Call me tonight. Call me now. So call 1-800-679-6600. That's 1-800-679-6600. Adults only, please. Let the games begin. Has Julia found the ultimate cure for writer's block? Use special exercise.